Hello everyone, welcome to Abhipedia. My name is Abhishek Sharma and today I bring you another basic concept in the basic concept series of economy that is classification of savings in India. See, savings as far as uh, the all, all over economic scenario is concerned is a part and parcel of our mutually reinforcing growth cycle. So as it is within a country, national income, if it is high, it will lead to high per capita income that can then create higher savings, then higher investments and then higher growth rates in national income again. So as it is, savings is a crucial part of our economy. Presently, the overall saving rate in India is uh, remaining below 30% and because of that, the investment rate is low and therefore the growth rate of economy is also lower. So we need around 40 to 45% saving rate in India. But who is exactly the one that is saving in India? That is the concern and that is why we do this classification of savings in India. As far as prelims is concerned, they can ask this in the format of increasing or decreasing orders or a right away question or a why kind of question also that uh, why the saving rate in a particular sector is higher or a particular sector is lower. Okay. So as it is in India, the saving is classified under three categories. There is household sector saving, private corporation saving and public sector saving or the government saving. Now, the biggest component of saving in India, that is 60.93%, almost 61% of saving in India is by household sector. Household sector basically includes the small businesses, salaried people or cottage industry. This is household sector. These people have both the need to save and the capability of saving if they are above the poverty line. And they actually do the most of the saving in India that is to be done, as you've seen, 61% of the total savings. Now, within this sector, the savings is done in two ways, physical and financial, wherein the physical saving is more than the financial format. Physical saving as it is in the form of uh, land, property, gold, like that. So our finance minister or the government would always want that the financial savings are more than the physical savings. And uh, this was once noticed that the financial saving trend increased, though it remained less than the physical saving, after the demonetization, but now again, physical savings have always been the uh, most loved format of saving for the Indian people, even today, and the financial saving as it is are less. Okay, because you see, the financial saving is something that we can mobilize in the economy as per demand of the credit and so on, but uh, physical saving, they get blocked wherever they go. Now, mobilization becomes difficult. And household sector saving being the 61%, second is private corporate saving. Now, in a private corporate sector, it is always good that a company, whenever it saves money, it should reinvest it to expand the business so that it can go into R&D, innovation, business expansion, employment generation, and then economic growth. So there is a lesser tendency to save and more tendency to invest in the private corporate sector. But in India, it has been seen over the past two, three years that that private corporate saving as it is, is increasing in terms of growth rate. And this is a negative sign, so to speak, because they are sitting on a pile of cash which they are not investing. This is generally because of two things, whether the investment scenario is not that clear or they have a high EMI burden that for which they have to keep money in their account. So both of these are not a very good sign so whenever the saving rate in the private corporate sector starts increasing, it is a sort of a pressure that builds up on the overall savings in the economy, right? So then public sector saving, 4.07% of the total saving in India or almost 4% of the saving in India. So as it is, corporate sec uh, sector ki toh firbi saving thik hai, lekin public sector mein toh government jo hai, wo deficit budgeting karta hai. Aur iski wajah se, uh, the saving part of the government will be less, only some contingency reserves are maintained or basic minimum money is maintained within the government. So therefore, saving rate of the government is least in India. So this is how the saving is classified throughout the country. Hope you had a broad understanding of the topic. This can be utilized in your mains because, uh, see, unless and until you directly correlate, there was a question in 2018 mains that Despite all the other factors of uh, economic growth, saving rates is the most critical factor in the economic growth of the country. So this concept you can use there itself. Moreover, this year's economic survey 2019 that happened before that, 
So in that it is stated that investment rate is the most critical factor. Actually the critical factor of growth is based upon what is the present situation of the economy, whether it requires more funding, whether it requires more policy action. So critical factor for growth will remain situational. Yeah. So accordingly these factors for growth will keep on changing. Anyhow, so this is me Abhishek Sharma signing off. If you have any other questions on this savings concept, so you can write in to me at abhishek at the rate of menu dot com. All the best for your preparation. Thank you so much. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for getting all the alerts and updates with respect to basic concepts of economy, what all is going on in the news, so that I can keep you up to date with your pre and mains examination. Thank you so much. All the best.